In this video I'm going to expand the satellite reception capability in my RV so that I can watch more than one TV. Currently I'm using a Wally receiver which only has one HDMI port which normally means you can only watch the main TV. However, I'm going to expand the system with a HDMI splitter so that I can watch more than one TV. This is a simplified drawing on how everything is connected. We see here an inside and outside TV that both have an HDMI cable that go to an HDMI splitter. Now make sure you get a splitter and not a combiner because you want to take one input source and split it into two. And you can also buy an HDMI switch that allows you to switch from one TV to another. However, the difference in the price is nil, basically, so you might as well buy the automatic one. Now this is a fairly simple system. And, of course, you can only watch one satellite receiver channel at a time. However, you can watch the same signal on both TVs, or you can watch broadcast TV from one TV and satellite on the other. So any combination of those will work. And I've assembled a few components uh, to do this project. And while not part of the TV project, I also bought two different remote extenders for the infrared remote on my stereo. And the difference between the two is there are two different lengths. And it's just an opportune time to open up the cabinetry so that I can run the remote while I have all the wires exposed and everything. And I bought an extra remote for my Wally for the uh, satellite. And along with the Wally, I bought this neat little neoprene rubber uh, cover. So this cover will fit on the Wally like that. You know, if we bounce it around outside, it won't hurt it. A couple different size HDMI cables, an HDMI splitter, and uh, an outlet box because I need to expand the number of outlets that I have. And then I couldn't find these locally in black, so I had to actually go to Amazon and buy them. And I have to cut a hole in the wall and I'm going to feed the remote and the HDMI cable through this cutout. We have two styles. I have this type that just is a little brush kind of looking thing. And then I actually have this bonafide HDMI port. And I mean, I could put them together and have the HDMI come out of this one and the remote out of that one. But I think I'll start with this one first. And I'm going to have to pull this TV down so that I can figure out the best route to get the HDMI cable up to the receiver. And in the outside compartment, I pulled the TV down. And it's just a matter of drilling a hole in here somewhere to put that cable, uh, HDMI cable feed through there. Well, have you ever heard the old saying, measure twice, cut once? Well, my version is think twice, cut once. Because it doesn't do any good to measure twice if you're measuring twice wrong. So I end up putting two holes in for the two outlets that I'm going to install. And I'm going to use this kit that this is a wire pull kit. And each one of these uh, little fiberglass rods are about 11 inches long. And I think there's 10 of them. And it makes for a nice little pull rod when a flexible one won't work. I don't use it much, but you know, it's 10, 12 bucks. So it's well worth having. And here I assembled three sections of that little wire pusher. I have it going through from, and you can see, that's the back of the stereo on the inside and it's just coming through to the hole here so this is how we're going to begin our wiring and sometimes you just have to take everything apart to find out where things are going so I'm coming out through there then up through here and up and around there and I'm also using this pink fish tape which is nylon which is the other really nice handy fish tape to have and you know this really frosts me I had to pull this out, this outlet here, to get behind it to fish the wire. And look at this, it's all busted. So now I'm just going to have to stop and replace that. So now we have our HDMI cable plugged in. And in here we have the infrared receiver. And once I get the TV on, I'll put it here somewhere, wherever it's a convenient location. And this is the power to the infrared remote extender goes across and down to a USB connector which I have a little wall transformer thing. 
And it might be a bit of a mess right now, but we have our Wally here, and then we have our HDMI splitter. And I'll cable tie this up and stuff a lot nicer once I'm sure that this is working correctly. And this is our stereo, and I also ran the transmitter for the remote IR underneath here. And it actually just kind of comes down and bounces around and reflects on its glass. So now with the remote I can control this stereo from the outside as well. You can see here in the diagnostics screen that it actually recognizes both remotes. And the remote screen is right over here. And you'll see the first one at the top says remote is RV. That's my inside remote. Uh, the bottom shows RV green, which is the remote with a little green case on it. So each remote is smart enough to have its own TV control. Now to set up the second remote, it took me a while to figure it out, but you got to go to this screen first, and then it uh, did a firmware update. And then you can go out into the remote screen and then you can set up each individual remote. These remotes are actually UHF RF, so they have about a 1 to 200 foot range. So you could potentially use one remote for both, but having one remote set up for each TV makes it much more convenient. And remotes aren't that expensive. I found one on eBay for, I think, $17. So that's an option if you're going to do this type of setup. So with everything connected, I now am looking at the outside TV and currently we're on the over-air broadcast and with the remote all I have to do is select input and then go down to HDMI 1, select that and now I'm on satellite. So when I have the input selection on TV I get over-the-air broadcast and then when I have it on HDMI 1 it's going through the splitter and to the satellite. So this is really working pretty good. And the same thing for the inside TV. If I want to watch the over-the-air channels, I can use the TV input. Or if I want to watch uh, satellite, then I use the HDMI input. Now the only limitation here, since I have one receiver, is I have to watch one satellite channel at the time, but I can watch it on either set or both sets simultaneously. One on the inside and one on the outside.